we have installed a system here in our lab, in our physical building, that was originally designed together with Aeon. The energy grid was designed almost like 100 years ago. And it was designed to, to have a central big power station in the middle, and the energy is taken off at the edges. And now with the advent of the alternative energy sources, uh, photovoltaic, wind energy, which they are all connected to the edges and basically make the energy flow in the wrong direction, which causes a lot of stress, specifically at the so-called second level substations, where, where the medium voltage is transferred to the low voltage. And uh, we get a lot of fluctuations in energy quality and pricing, but we also get, sp get spikes. And in the end, uh, we get a lot more wear in the equipment. And so we wanted to get first more transparency into those uh, stations. And secondly, we even wanted to give a little prediction capability to understand what happens in the next one or even three days. We have installed a number of, of sensors. Basically, we have, we have uh, developed a complete stack that would be installed in, in these second level substations consisting of energy sensors, local uh, logic, APC basically, and then this data is transferred uh, to a backend, collected, and then uh, we have here a display of that data. That is live data, which we actually collect in our own Intel building. We can identify, of course, very typical uh, behavior of the, of the air conditioning. We can see that, for instance, the kitchen uses very much energy at, uh, at a specific time. And we can, we can see the switch between summer and, and, and winter and the air con conditioning. And we also have, of course, become a lot more familiar with the prediction logic and uh, are able to, to demonstrate that also. Uh, we could really uh, prove that we uh, develop an end-to-end -end solution so we did not only focus on a certain aspect like the gateway uh, but we really could incorporate everything the sender the gateway the security stack and also the back end as you can see the data is really running on a on a cloudera on a hadoop cluster that we have here so it's really about integration so the iot lab is really a place to integrate different verticals different products and so on